So this is question number one on your exam three review for MAC 1140. And this question wants to know, out of A, B, C, or D, which of these equations is odd? And so remember, for odd and even functions, or even function, what it's saying is that we can place in a negative x for all x values where we have f of, in our f of x equation, and um, the answer will come out to be exactly the same thing. Odd functions, however, say that for a function, we place in a negative x for our f of x equation, what we're going to get is a negative f of x. So what should happen is that all the signs of our function should change to where we can pull out a negative and still have our original f of x equation. So this is what we're looking for here. We want that odd function. This isn't even. And remember, if you plug in a negative x and some things change to be a negative sign, but some things stay the same, and the overall function has not been multiplied by a negative, that's not um, odd and it's not even, so it's neither. So you can have a function that's neither even or odd. So with that knowledge in mind, we're going to look at these functions here. So first one, A, we have 2 over x minus 1. So if we wanted an odd function, we would be looking for negative 2 over x minus 1 when we plugged in negative x. But when I plug in negative x, I get 2 over negative x minus 1. These two things are not the same. So this is not um, odd. And it, actually, they're not the same, and they don't come out... Um, when we put in the negative x, we didn't get what we put in the regular, what we had in the regular function either. So this is neither. For function b, when I plug in a negative x, I get 1 over the square root of negative x quantity squared plus 5. So that gives me 1 over the square root of x squared plus 5. Um, and that function is the exact same function that we started with, which means that uh, function b is even. Now function c, when I plug in a negative, I get negative x quantity cubed minus negative x. So what this gives me is a negative x cubed plus x. So I can factor out a negative there, and that gives me x cubed minus x. And so this is a negative times our original function, f of x. So that makes that c is odd. So c will be certainly part of our answer, but we just have to check d. And d, we have the absolute value of x. And so when we plug in the negative x, well, that just gives us absolute value of x because if we plug in a negative value, that's equivalent to plugging in the positive value because of the absolute value bars. So the negative absolute value of x is going to equal the absolute value of x, which is our original function making this last function even. So then your answer is only C.